What makes a planet a planet and not a star? A planet has just been spotted acting very peculiar. It's gobbling up matter just like a star. So does this mean it will eventually become a star just like our sun? Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu and in this week's video, let's talk about rogue planet CHA 11077626. When we think about planets, we usually picture worlds orbiting around stars, like how the Earth orbits around our Sun. But not all planets fit this picture. Unlike these planets, some planets, known as rogue planets, aren't associated with any star at all. They drift freely and alone in space. The leading idea is that most rogue planets didn't form in isolation. Instead, they likely began life in a normal planetary system, but at some point were violently ejected, maybe through a close encounter with another planet. Once kicked out, they drift endlessly through interstellar space. What's truly staggering is their possible numbers though. Astronomers don't know exactly how many there are, but estimates suggest that the Milky Way alone could host billions, maybe even trillions of rogue planets. That would mean that these lonely worlds could actually outnumber the stars themselves. And soon, we may even finally get some answers. The upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is expected to transform our understanding of rogue planets by detecting them via microlensing and then refining those estimates to reveal just how common they really are. Now recently, ESA's very large telescope caught something extraordinary a exoburst, this sudden temporary brightening usually linked to bursts of accretion when a young star gulps up fresh material from its surrounding disk. But there's one problem here. This burst didn't come from a star at all. It came from a rogue planet. That planet is CHA 11077626, a young isolated world drifting some 620 light years away. During this burst, it must have been accumulating matter at an incredible rate, around 6 billion tons per second. Now really, that is puzzling, because if rogue planets are ejected from their birth star systems, we would expect them to be stripped bare, with no gas or dust left to feed on. So how is it possible that this planet could still be accreting? The answer came from Spitzer's space telescope, which showed an infrared excess indicating a surrounding circumplanetary disk. In other words, this rogue planet has its own disk of gas and dust, just like a baby star. This suggests that at least some rogue planets don't need to form in star systems and then get ejected. They must be able to form directly in isolation, collapsing down from a gas cloud in the same way that stars do. Follow-up observations with the James Webb Space Telescope revealed even more. Astronomers detected a double peaked H alpha line with redshifted absorption in the spectra. Now, this is classical evidence of magnetospheric accretion, suggesting that the planet's magnetic field is funneling material onto that planet's surface, just like it does on a star. And another thing, during the burst, JWST picked up an emission feature at around 6.5 to 7 microns. This is attributed to water vapor. That feature wasn't present when the planet was quiet, which means that the accretion burst actually heated the disk to high enough temperatures to alter the chemistry, changing the state of water itself. So this single event has rewritten the way we think about rogue planets. They may not just be castaways after all. Some might actually be born in the dark, starless void, building disks, accreting matter, and growing just like miniature stars. But does this mean that this planet will eventually become a star? Unfortunately not. Our rogue planet is about 5 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter, and it's growing very slowly by just 1 10 millionth of the mass of Jupiter per year. For an object to be a star, they need to have enough mass to sustain thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen. 
This corresponds to about 80 times the mass of Jupiter. Even to qualify as a brown dwarf, a kind of failed star that can burn deuterium but not hydrogen, it would need to be at least 13 times the mass of Jupiter. At its current growth rate, that could take tens or even hundreds of millions of years, and that's assuming it can hold on to enough gas to keep feeding. Still, this discovery makes CHA 11077626 an object to watch closely. Astronomers now want to track how long these bursts last, how powerful they are, and how often they repeat. In fact, archival spectra already hint that something similar may have happened about a decade ago, around 2016. And if that's true, it suggests that these bursts are not one-off flukes, but reoccurring events, a whole new kind of planetary behaviour we're only just beginning to uncover. Anyway, that's all I have time for this week. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe. Hey, space cats. Fly with me to the stars Faster than light Soaring past Mars Unveiling the cosmos New worlds to explore